Hey there, just wrapping up some work for this evening here. I thought I'd talk about uh, a bead roller you can get at Princess Auto and uh, Woodward Fab. So this is a 20 inch cast iron bead roller that they sold probably a couple of years ago. I don't know if they sell them anymore. On Woodward Fab they say they're out of stock and Princess Auto doesn't list it anymore. So I bought this uh, bead roller back then because it's got a 20 inch throat which was pretty decent back at the day. And uh, it came with a number of different dies. So this is uh, a pair here. I'm missing one here that rolled away. i got to find that in my other work location. It came with some other uh, dies here. So uh, anyway, as I was putting this thing together, actually I had put it together a couple of years ago and I just re relocated it to where I'm working now. And I couldn't get this uh, depth gauge to work ori originally. We kind of had it sitting aside. So I started working on it today. It seemed to me that it was the wrong size and wouldn't fit. So I did some machining in the uh, part that slides over the uh, bead roller to make it a bit bigger of a space. And I realized I would have to pretty much take the thing down to nothing and it wouldn't work anymore. I started looking at it closer and you can see that the cast iron is bowed. I put a straight edge across the back and it's bowed about an eighth of an inch and that is the reason why this depth gauge doesn't fit. And if you have one of these you'll probably have the same problem I imagine. So uh, what else did I find out? Well because it's bowed the uh, handle has a bit of tension on it all the time. It's not hard to turn it but it's not going anywhere on its own. <laughs> so uh, that might or might not wear out the uh, bushings prematurely. As long as it doesn't affect my work, I guess I'm okay with that. So this has uh, 22 millimeter shafts on this end, which is a pretty common like import variety uh, size, and they're uh, 50 millimeter diameter. Uh, components. The uh, shafts are 50 millimeters apart and then the uh, end of the shaft over here where the crank attaches to is 25 millimeters. And that's pretty important because as of late Eastwood is selling a, uh, a motorized kit that you can put on these import bead rollers. So it's about another 20 inches long I think. So I'm considering buying that pretty seriously. The only one thing that doesn't work on the cast iron job is that the uh, where the guard goes on it has some small bolts here that are like 87 millimeters apart on the Eastwood kit this wouldn't be cast iron it would just be a plate of steel and the bolts would be 50 millimeters apart and quite a bit heftier so in order to use their kit I'm going to have to uh, drill and tap two holes that are 50 millimeters apart so after I figure out where it fits on, just use a vice grip to hold it on. And you'll need a, a bottoming die or bottoming uh, tap to do the holes because they're going to be blind holes. You're not going to pop out the other side, so you need to get a, a proper uh, tap and make that work. So it comes with a, uh, a stand here, and it's kind of awkward to move it around. So would it be nice if it was kind of like this thing over here? We'll talk about that in another video, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Anyway, you can kind of tilt this back and uh, roll it around. Whereas this thing, I don't know what they were thinking. You're going to anchor to the floor, maybe. If you put casters on it, I think it might be a bit unstable at that dimension. Especially with the motor, if you're putting pieces of metal through it. So I don't know. But either I gotta find a, a permanent place to mount this thing and put anchors in the floor, or I'm going to just fabricate some kind of uh, pair of wheels to go on the bottom of it. So uh, when I put these uh, die holders on the first time, I bottomed out the uh, threaded section here, and then all of my uh, dies were falling off. That's why one of them rolled away. So what you really want to do is uh, not have any threads protruding on the inside. It's kind of counterintuitive to, from a mechanic side of myself. 
but I guess this is not holding any life safety equipment together so it's all right to uh, just barely seat the threads and then you'll see that they just fit perfectly otherwise they'd be kind of hanging like this and they just keep falling off on you It'd drive you nuts these uh, dies I don't know if they're hardened steel or not I should have sprayed them with some grease some of them are showing a bit of corrosion on them so I'm going to have to polish them up and oil them I'm probably going to get some other dies for it what I need to do is build some inside fender wells and it would be handy if I had some rollover dies so Covell sells them, I think Eastwood sells them as well then Eastwood sells uh, tipping dies that can go on here, they have like the polyurethane dies and what have you. In fact, the Covell dies are meant for a like Pexto and Mittler Bros uh, bead rollers, so they probably won't fit on this. So I'll probably just stick with Eastwood. It seems that Princess Auto and uh, Harbor Freight in the U.S. are getting away from some of the metalworking tools. So uh, buy up whatever you can now, otherwise it may not be available. So uh, hopefully you find this video informative, that's kind of my goal. So I'm willing to take a bit of risk on stuff that I buy, but I know some of you guys are may not have the cash I've got, so you want to look at stuff a little more carefully before you buy it. So uh, this is what I've got to share. I guess if you wanted to do a sliding uh, shaft like the Lassie bead rollers, I don't know if you'd have to add to a shaft. Probably come up with a solution. I think obviously getting a Lassie or, or a Mittler Bros would be the best. Perhaps a Pexto, they're kind of more like sheet metal for HVAC work I believe. Would be uh, awesome but they cost a ton of money. And for myself, I just, I wouldn't use it enough to, for it to make any sense. I'd be better off just paying people to make my parts if I went to that extent. So uh, here we are. It's just getting this shop set up for the summer. It's about minus 10 degrees Celsius right now. That's why I got the uh, winter uh, pants on. So anyway, have a good evening. Bye.